All right, guys, we are going to learn how to take an image that was shot on a green screen and remove the subject and place them on a different background. So first I'm going to open up the pictures I want. These backgrounds can be found. Well, I'll show you actually. You'll go to the student tab over here, and then you will click on common and you should find the backgrounds in there. I think I have this extra folder here, Mandel photo and then backgrounds, but start with the students and then common and then you'll find all kinds of things. If you wanna see what they look like bigger, you can view them as large icons and then you can see so many choices. So really there are probably hundreds to choose from, but I've selected a snowy scene and a sports scene. All right, so um, just as a reminder, if you wanna see your photos side by side, you can go to windows, arrange and float all in windows. I like to do that. So let's just take this one picture here of Trent and here is how we will select just him. It isn't really going to matter that our backdrop had wrinkles in it. We're going to go to select and then color range and you'll see this box pop up here. So um, when you click on the backdrop, you'll see that we've selected this green area. So anything that's white here is selected and anything that's black is not selected. So if I click somewhere else, you'll see that it's not selecting all of the green, which is going to be a problem for us. So start with just clicking where you feel like the color represents most of the background. And then to add more to it, you'll hold down the shift key and click in these areas that are still gray that you want to be the background, like these dark lines. You see how it's adding to my selection because I'm holding down the shift key while I'm clicking these. So that looks like it pretty much has the whole background. Um, I feel like the whole background now is showing white, maybe a little bit still there, okay. So if we slide this fuzziness back and forth, you can see now it's selecting all of the person too. And if we slide it back, it's selecting less of the background. So we wanna kind of find a good spot, probably somewhere around 50, but you can play with it to make sure that the person is completely black and the background is completely uh, white. Once you're satisfied with that, you're going to click okay, and you can see that it is selecting the background. These little marching ants are all around the background, but we wanna select the person. So you're going to right click, right click. So maybe you have to be on like this. Oh yeah, you do have to be on this magic wand um, icon over here. So I'm going to right click and choose, um, where is it? Select inverse. Now it has selected the person. We need to go to this move tool. This is the one that allows us to move things around in Photoshop. And now we can move our person over onto the backdrop. Okay. So we can see he's too big, right? Um, but if you have this box, checked right here. This is really important. It's a step that a lot of people miss. Make sure that box is checked and then you can see the corners of your image and you can resize the person that way. So this might be like a, you know, baseball team picture or something. I don't know. Um, after you're done resizing it, you need to hit enter to lock in that um, resizing and then you can go to flat, like layer and flatten image and that will make it all one image and you can save it as a JPEG. But if you find that uh, maybe some of this green that we missed bothers you, you can erase it. Remember that um, you can see layers. Where's my layers box? Um, there's layers it's stuck down here okay here's my layers so this top layer you can see is the person and the bottom layer is the background so if you're while the the person one is highlighted you can take a very small eraser and erase some of that green if you want it to be like a perfectionist we can erase some of that so that's up to you and it's exactly what it seems like it would do 
it erases and shows the background through. It might show up more here on the white, but you can always do that to touch it up if you were going for something super, oh, that's a little much, right? Um, control Z will undo anything you've just done. You also have a history um, box that you can go back on here. So you can see this takes away my steps that I've done if I make a mistake. All right, so that's basically it. Then you're going to flatten and save it. Let's show what it would look like on the snowy background. And again, the person is too big, so I'm going to need to just make it smaller. Make it realistic, right? So your um, assignment is to make one picture that's like a school portrait, and you'll find lots of those um, in the backgrounds, and that'd probably just be like waist up or shoulders up. And then do one that's more full body, maybe even all the way to the feet, and put them on a background like this that's just um, completely probably impossible to shoot at school, right? It could be something snowy or something nature, or even maybe something that is an imaginary place. So up to you. But that's how you select the person and take them off the green screen background and put them onto a new image. So thank you everyone for watching.